Well, Nate, how much progress do you think you guys made in terms of toughness? I thought we did a better job today. Um, guys were going after rebounds. It took a little bit. Coach Cal got on some guys at halftime, and, and some of the media is about getting rebounds. He's on my case about getting rebounds. So um, started a little bit of a fire underneath some guys' butts, and, and we got rebounds. Why do you think there was a need to fire up people's butts? I mean, I think that's just kind of how he is in general. It's, he's, he's like a fiery guy and, and holds a lot of guys accountable. And, Kind of holds guys to a really high standard, and uh, after that, I, I feel like everybody did a better job going after balls. Nate, yeah, I think in your first five minutes, you threw three fouls, boxed them out, and got two rebounds. It seemed like you were kind of immediately right out of the gate, put a body on somebody every time the ball went up. Is that part of that? Just an immediate response? Yeah, we, we've been doing it a lot in practice, and uh, I'm just trying to trans translate it over from practice into the game. and. Uh, I still have to do a better job of going after rebounds instead of just hitting a guy. I have to go after him. Um, but yeah, I think the past week since we've played, or what, five days since we've played, we've done a, a really good job of that in practice, and I was just trying to translate that. How much do you guys, how much do you think you guys need to do that against Michigan State, a team that's got to help for, you know, physically? Yeah, I mean, every possession, they're going to come after us, and we're going to go after them, and it's going to be a, a dog fight down low for who can come up with uh, the most rebounds. You seem like you have more tape on your hand every, every game. Uh, I have a little bit of a thumb injury, but it's nothing crazy. It's just a lot of preventative stuff. Um, I'm on the up and up from it, so it's more just kind of protecting it for right now. And what about your the stretch for this year? It seemed like you posted us fairly effectively. Uh, I think with our team, we have a lot of guys who can play a lot of positions. And for me, if I need to play down low or if I need to stretch the floor a little bit, I can do that. Um, and today, if my, my outside game wasn't mean they were running the zone, so I just needed to post up in the middle and kind of get that opened up for everybody to start driving and stepping the ball to be in my hands. How much even more do you personally have to sort of take on the rebounding and be the physical for as long as Nick is out? Uh, I think I'm going to hold myself to a really high standard while Nick is out. Um, just I need to be that guy that, that comes up with a rebound or tips it out to somebody else or boxes somebody out for somebody else to come in and get it. Um, just kind of be a really, really high energy guy. Coach Justin said he thought your energy is infectious. Do you see that on what, you know, what we should look for that indicates your energy? Yeah, I mean, I, I try to communicate everything when I'm on the court or even if I'm on the bench, just talking, yelling, um, and then getting other guys to do the same thing. I think once everybody on the court does that, we become a really, really dangerous team. How much different is the team without Nick? What's that? How much different is the team without Nick? I mean, Nick is is our, our big guy down low. He's a shot blocker. He's a rebounder. He's really, really hard to guard in the post, and, and he's a great defender himself. So without him on the court, you could definitely tell there's a missing piece, but I think we did a really good job today of making up for that. We definitely miss him, though. I think we've made a lot of big strides since the first game. Uh, I thought today was a lot better. Guys were, were more locked in and more in tune with what we were trying to do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we all realize it's a big game. We all realize kind of the, the stakes that the game holds. And I think for, for me as a guy coming in, not playing in Madison Square Garden before, um, Obviously, gonna have butterflies. It's a big game. You get to play in Mecca bas college basketball or NBA basketball too. Um, it's 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 a big deal. But I think I just need to be calm, cool, and collected when I go out for warmups. Hey, I think I'm it's fair to say it's probably been a slow start for EJ so far. What do you guys say to him to kind of keep his confidence up right now? Like, I mean, I think EJ's one of our better guys, and I think for him, and he's he's playing really really well. Uh, he's rebounding the ball. He's going after shots. He's blocking shots. He's playing good defense, and offense is gonna click for him. The dude's a dangerous score. And sometimes shots just don't go in, but he's every day in practice he's getting buckets and he's gonna start getting shots and shots will start falling from him on Tuesday. How much how much of a, of a tune up was this game as far as uh, preparing for Michigan State? I mean, it, even in practice, like our intensity is up high. Uh, Coach Cal's on everybody's case about our intensity. If, if guys take a possession off, we stop and we talk about it and we kind of come together. And I think we did a really, really, really good job of that today where there weren't that many defensive lapses or mental lapses where if, if anything, it was one guy instead of two or three. And it's just a lot of it's just young guys and trying to get everybody to mesh well together. And um, I think 
for the last five days in practice, we've done a really, really good job of being intense and, and having that high energy the entire time. How much, if any, have the guys who are out there that's have jitters and stuff? I think Nick's, Nick's done a really good job of helping us out, and so has Ashley. It looked like you guys were a lot more physical tonight. How much was that emphasized in practice this week? It, it was, the, I think, the point of emphasis <laughs> is rebounding and, and being physical and going after rebounds. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I thought we did a lot better job of, of going and hitting guys and then going after rebounds instead of turning and watching. I have to do a better job of hitting guys first and then going to get it, but I thought as a, as a team we did a really good job. For however, however long Nick is out, how much more onus does that put on yourself and EJ and even some of the guys like Khalil and Keon just to step up and play the post? Uh, I mean, we definitely were definitely missing Nick. He's, he's a great rebounder, a great teammate. I think for us, the guys that are playing, we just have to really step up, be physical, be high energy the entire time we're in there. So you guys ready for two years down university? Absolutely. Everybody's ready for it. <laughs> what do you say to EJ, a guy that's kind of struggling through the first day with two exhibition games? What do you say to him to kind of get the spirits out of that? I, I think every, everybody on our team knows what EJ can do, and, and he's it's going to click for him. And, couple shots don't go in, it's not a big deal. He's one of our better scorers, one of our better players, and, and we all know that and we all have confidence in him. You obviously made it a point over the offseason to change your body physically and things like that. How much do you see that making an effect? Uh, I definitely notice it when I'm when I'm running. I'm not as tired. Um, my senior year at Bucknell, I, was, I would get fatigued really, really fast, and I think um, over the summer and definitely into this, this uh, preseason, we've made it a point of emphasis to be in really, really good shape, sprint the floor. So it's like every time we're on the court for practice, like everything is a game rep. You can't really hide out there. If you do try to, Cal's going to notice. So for me personally, I just put it upon myself to try to be in the best shape that I possibly can. If Nick can't go Tuesday, how does that change your role? You think? Uh, I think I'm just going to have to play the play a role like I did today. Um, just be more aggressive and, and go after rebounds and be a better uh, be a better defender, help defender, team defender, stuff like that. Now, unlike the rest of your teammates, you've been playing college basketball for a couple of years. For, first of all, do you consider this coming Tuesday like the biggest game you know you've ever played in, ever like the biggest game of your life? Uh, maybe. I, I mean, playing the NCAA tournament twice was was huge for me, and getting to play in Little Caesars Arena when we played Michigan State was a big deal. But uh, getting to play in Madison Square Garden is really, really special for me. So then, do you? Does it feel strange to you, like among these wide-eyed freshmen, that you might be feeling, you know, just as pumped that this is the biggest game you've ever played in? No, absolutely. I mean, if you're not excited or you're not a little bit nervous for this game, then something's wrong with you. Like this is that, then you shouldn't be playing. And I, I know everybody on our team is excited for Tuesday. We're really looking forward to the next three days of practice to prepare for this and then uh, to go up there and hopefully come out with a win. Is New York closer to your Yeah, I think it's like five hours from my hometown. Yeah, my mom, my dad, uh, my sister, and my brother. So you're prepared that they're all going to be there. I heard on Riley's podcast one time your brother showed up for senior night and they were all like, Yeah, if he does that, I'm okay. I'm going to be upset with him. No, uh, my oldest brother lives in Jersey, so he's going to come. Okay. Um, and then my, my oldest, or my second oldest sister is going to show up. There's been a lot of talk about your leadership on the team. Um, you're not the oldest sibling. Like, where do you think that comes as far as normally birth order matters and you're just looking for the other? Yeah, I mean, I think being the youngest of five has, has kind of helped me out because I learned all the different leadership or leadership um, qualities and traits that my older siblings have. And my brothers being in the military has helped me out a lot, um, being in charge of like, big groups of people and then being able to do that at Bucknell and then be able to come here and translate that and hopefully be a, a good leader here. You said the garden's special for you. Is it because of the, the proximity growing up, or does uh, it just represent something to you? I think it's just the reputation that it has. I mean, when you think of like NBA basketball, you think of like the best arena. For me, at least, I think of Master Square Garden. The place is it's absurd. You have some of the best games. The Big East tournament is always there. I remember watching that as a kid, and some of the biggest games in college basketball are held there. So I think that's a that's a that's why it's so special for me. How's it different getting ready for a game here at UK versus before? Uh, I think the level of intensity and the, the stage, um, the the stage here is every game that you play is, is a national, like a national championship level game. Everybody's coming at you. Everybody's trying to come at you with you have a huge target on your back, and everybody's coming for you and trying to knock you off. 
I think that we had a, a very similar thing at Bucknell. We were a very, very talented team all four years, and we always had a huge target on our back within our conference. And even in the, some of our non-conference games, people were trying to knock you off, and I think it's how it is every, every game here.